kids, right? <laughs> Health is about how you feel. It has nothing to do with about how you function, about your lifestyle, about your, your nutrition, about anything else. It's only about how you feel. This, of course, is a lie, right? So there's this mass psychosis that we have as a culture that we buy into these things, and just because everyone else believes it, we believe it too, our parents believe it, our teachers believed it, so when we were just kind of indoctrinated into something, that was false. And now it's our job to come out of the woodwork and to tell a culture that everything that you've learned about health is wrong, and we've got some new information for you. So I've got some, some sales statistics, because every conversation is a sale. 48% of people never follow up with their prospect. So if you tell someone something once, that health is about how your body functions, that if you get adjusted, if you eat right, if you exercise, if you do all these things, that you can keep your body healthy. Yet only 2% of sales are made on the first contact. 25% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. of salespeople only 25% of salespeople make a second contact, which means that if you tell someone something <laughs> once and it's completely against everything that they've ever learned, they think that you're what? Crazy. What? Crazy. Crazy, full of shit, yeah. right? <laughs> so um, <laughs> if you continue to have that conversation, but only 25% of people will, um, then 10% uh, of sales are made on the, sorry, 3% uh, of sales are made on the second contact. 5% of sales are made on the third contact, 10% of sales are made on the fourth contact, and 80% of sales are made on the fifth through twelfth contact. Yeah. Okay. So that means that you continue to conversation, you know, like keep continuing yes. the conversation. <laughs> you, you never stop having the conversation if you care about people. If you don't care about someone, Drop it. Stop, stop talking to them, right? But what it means to that person if you continue to have a conversation, it's not that you're trying to be annoying. It's not that you're trying to be um, a pest. It's you're, you're trying to be persistent for them, not to them. It's you're trying to save their life, right? So if you, if you really love someone and they were doing something harmful to themselves, how many times would you continue to talk about that thing that they're doing to harm themselves, right? So if someone had a, an addiction that was, you know, that was killing them, if someone was, if a baby was walking out into the middle of the street and a truck was coming, would you just say, hey, oh, hey, baby, don't, don't do that? Or would you persist, maybe even go grab them, right? So um, we've got a lot of babies coming in today. And uh, maybe they don't know that truth. Maybe they've been told that thing over and over and over again, and uh, they bought into a system that's not working out for them. You know, so uh, that's a, a wonderful question to ask. If someone's on a wrong road and they're not getting the results that they want, and yet they're still not making changes, well, how's that working out for you? You know, you got to get them to think, um, and that requires asking questions, um, not just you speaking. You get them to sell themselves because they will believe themselves. Um, there's a lot of methods that we can use when it comes to, to influence and conversation, but we don't have time for that now. Um, but the, the simple answer is keep talking and keep talking from your heart.